In the previous lesson, you learned how to create your own store policies and legal pages, which you need for your own protection and which will also help you close more sales. In this video, you're going to learn about the navigation menu, which will create links on your website on the top menu and the footer menu with the links to those legal pages that we added in the previous lesson. And by the way, good job on making it this far, guys. It really shows that you are serious in what you're trying to do and you will succeed if you continue learning and continue implementing. So now let's head over to the online store on the Shopify dashboard and then go ahead and click on navigation. Now what you're seeing here is the footer menu and the main menu. On your side, it looks like this. The main menu is here on top and the footer menu is what we see here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and fill them in with the relevant pages and links that we just created. Go back to the navigation menu, click on the footer menu. Now on the footer menu, you can see that there's currently a search function. Let's go ahead and see exactly what that is. So go back to your website, scroll down to the bottom to the footer menu, and here you can see a search quick link. It's not very friendly to have a search link on the bottom of your page. So at this point, what we're going to do is click on delete and remove it. Don't worry, you can always add it back later if you want. Now there's nothing in your footer menu. So what you need to do next is click on add menu item. And now we're going to start adding links to those legal pages, which are boring and we don't want it to be in the center of our website. So we're just going to have it on the bottom over here under the quick links. So click on the text box under link. Scroll down until you see policies. Click on that. And here are the policies which we already created. So let's go ahead and start adding them privacy policy. The name is privacy policy. So we're just going to go ahead and click on add. And here, as you can see, it was already added. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest of those policies. So refund policy, add menu item, policies, shipping policy, add, add menu item, policies, terms of service, add. See, it's not really that hard once you get the hang of it. So click again on add menu item. Only this time you're not going to click on policies. You're going to click on pages. Here you have the three pages that we created about us, contact us and frequently asked questions. What we want to put on the bottom is frequently asked questions. Click on add menu item again, go to the pages and we will add the about us also on the bottom. The contact us, I think, can be on the top menu instead of on the bottom menu, because when a viewer sees that they can contact you, it usually helps them get more confidence to buy from your store. So we're just going to add the about us as the last page for the footer menu. And as you can see here, all six of those pages and policies have been added to the footer menu. Now go ahead and click on save and go back. Now we're still on the menus, only this time we want to edit the main menu. So go ahead and click on main menu. Here you can see that you have two links, a home link and a catalog link. To see exactly where they are and what they look like, just go ahead and head back to your website, scroll up to the top, and here you can see the home link and the catalog, which will take you to your products. If I click on that, it'll take you to the products. That's the catalog link. So you have home and catalog. Now what you can do first is change the name catalog, maybe to products. Okay, so we have home and products. Now let's add a menu item back to those pages that we created. And we want to have that contact us right up there. Click on add. And that's it. That should be good. Now go ahead and click on save. Now let's see how everything looks on our website. Okay, so here we are back on the website. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Here we are home products and contact us. The products will obviously take us to the products. Let's go back. And the contact us is going to take us to that contact us page that we created. So here we are, it's alive, it's running and it works. Now, if we scroll to the bottom of the site, you can see the rest of the quick links that we just configured. Privacy policy, refund policy, shipping policy, terms of service, frequently asked questions and about us. And if you click on each and any one of them, it'll take you to that text. And here's the link to that contact us page. Click on that back to the contact us. So everything works and it's already starting to look good. The website is starting to look professional. I changed the text up in the announcement bar to just make it a little bit more friendly to the reader. But as you can see, everything here already looks good. There's just one thing that I would like to edit from here. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed it, but I don't like the fact that we have a subscribe up here and a subscribe down here. 
So this one over here looks good. We don't need the one on the bottom and it is not on the footer menu. This is the footer menu over here. So in order to delete this newsletter block over here, what you need to do is head back to your Shopify dashboard, click on online store and under themes, you have to customize your theme. So wait for this page to load, click on customize. And here on the footer, which is exactly the newsletter that we want to delete, click on that. And here's that newsletter, click on it. Three dots, remove newsletter. Boom, that's gone. We have the quick links on one line, which looks good, it's in the middle. So is the subscribe to our newsletter, the products. As you see, step by step, our store is starting to look really good, really professional, and we're that close to launching it and start making sales. So that's it when it comes to navigation menus and linking them with your pages and your store policies. You can create as many pages as you want for your website and set them up in your navigation menus. It doesn't only have to be legal pages, but use your creativity later for that subject. Your assignment for this lesson is to set up your navigation menu and link up all of those pages and store policies that we have created in the previous lesson. Once you're done with that, I'll meet you in the next lesson where we are going to talk about store currencies and payment providers. See you there.